right, let's go. It's time for the second half of our Hoops doubleheader here tonight at the Drumner Center. The Post University women's basketball team just won 93-80 over Caldwell University. And now it is time for the men's. Let's take a look at our starting lineups for both squads. First for the visiting Cougars, it is Darnell Evans leading the CACC in points per game at 23.5. Mark Heber, Kirk Parsons, Jaden Williams, and Derek Bueno. That will round out the five for the Cougars. They are head coached by Dean Johnson in his second year. And for the Eagles, it's a starting lineup that Mark Kuntz has gone with all season long. Kuntz in his seventh year. Kyle Alsey, Dang Diang, Quest Harris, Robert Sanders, and Bowl Akat. That will round out the five for both squads. Caldwell in the red uniforms. Post in the white uniforms. We are ready to rock and roll. Post comes into this one at 12 and two overall, three and zero in conference. And for Caldwell, they come into this one at six and seven overall, two and two in conference. Both teams riding a two-game winning streak. It'll be Kyle Alsey and Derek Bueno to jump it up at half court. The 42nd all-time matchup between the Cougars and the Eagles is underway with the Eagles controlling the tip. Eagles 23 and 18 all-time versus Caldwell. Wes Harris kicks it out to Dang Ding. His first shot of the game is short, and it's Mark Heber climbing the ladder for the board. Now over to Darnell Evans. Kirk Parsons in the right corner. Takes it on the baseline. Couldn't finish, and Kyle Lawson, who ranks number nine in the CACC in rebounds per game at 6.7, collects his first of the game. That ball knocked out of play. Last touch by the Cougars. Side out for the Eagles. Post coming off of a 77-70 win against Malloy on Saturday right here at the Drumner Center where they trailed for 27 minutes and five seconds during that game. Pulled out the seven-point win. Sanders shoots it at 38% from downtown, takes it inside. His tip, no, ball knocked around, Diang has it. Diang ranks eighth in the CACC in rebounds per game at 7.5. Pass inside, intercepted there by Bueno, and here comes the Cougars looking to run the break. Darnell Evans, 23 and a half points per game. Kicks it out to Bueno. A little over a minute gone, still no score between two squads in the North Division in the CACC. Kirk Parsons, dribble handoff, Evans straight away, triple, book it. Darnell Evans knocks down his first shot of the game. And Caldwell strikes first, 3-0. A minute and a half gone in the first half. Sanders takes it inside, plays some bully ball, missed the lay, is tip no. Ball knocked out of play, last touch by Heber. Under the basket, out of bounds. Harris will trigger, gets it into Diang. Met by Williams, turnaround shot to the baseline, and they get an offensive foul on Diang. The NBA is really cracking down on that. The kick out on a jump shot. And these officials cracking down on it as well. Get Diang for his first personal foul. With 18-23 to play in the first half. Both teams riding a two-game winning streak. Last game for Caldwell was at Jefferson on Sunday where they won 76-75. Bueno fakes the three, takes it across the lane and finishes the scoop. There, Bueno rocks the baby walking back on the other side and it's 5-0 Caldwell. An auspicious first two minutes here for the Cougars. Anders with the pass inside. Too much Frank's red hot sauce on that one. It's stolen away by Parsons. Heber, Mitty. And Alsi rips down his second rebound of the game. Now Harris, quick drive, and a scoop and the score. The former Sacred Heart pioneer gets his first bucket of the game and breaks the seal for the Eagles. Inside to Bueno. Nice feed there by Parsons, setting up a tasty dish. 17.25 to play here in the first half. A 7-2 lead for the Cougars to start. 
Sanders uses the screen from Alsi. Pass inside. Up high. Down hard. Throw it down, Kyle. Top to Bueno, 14th in the CACC in points per game, and he snipes that one through. Bueno averaging 14.3 on the season. And he's off to a nice start here. He's got five points, five of the 10 for the Cougars. Here's a Cot, who's fifth in the CACC in points per game. Nice pass inside to the big fella, and Kyle Alsi with back to back buckets. Sixteen twenty-five to play here in the first half. A 10-6 lead for the Cougars. Nice defense by Akat. Parsons crosses the timeline. Feeds it to Evans, who has three points here in this one. Bueno. Puts it on the deck. Stands at six foot seven. Shows it to Parsons. Back to Derek. Up top to the leader in points per game in the CACC. That one's off the front iron. And Harris traveled, shuffled his feet. And coming into the game, the first person off the bench, it is Harry Warnock, who was the hero back on Saturday where he had a season high, 17 points, knocked down three three-pointers. And the Eagles trailed in that one by 27. The Eagles trailed in that one for 27 minutes. And he was a huge factor as to why they got back into the game and regained the lead. It's into Evans. Now Parsons. Six on the shot clock. Evans looks to create, create some space. In and out on the J. Harris the board and the push. Quest takes it all the way inside. Misses the layup but drew the foul. With 15-28 to play in the first half, Harris will go to the free throw line. Doesn't take a lot of free throws on the year. Seven for 14 from the charity stripe coming into this one. As we see Taquan Williams and Trey Duncan getting set to check in here for post. Harris now 7 for 15 from the foul line on the year. Empty trip. It's ahead to Evans. And it looks like we have a issue with the shot clock. As Williams will sub out. Harris, so five on the four for the Eagles here. Diang, Warnock, Williams, Duncan, and a cop. Shot clock all figured out. Should be at 28 is what the official is conveying to the scores table. So a little break in the action. Good chance to remind you the last matchup between these two squads was on February 14th of 2023. Or Caldwell won 64-59, a much different Eagles squad here in this season than last season. Eagles went 15 and 13 overall last year in 2022, 10 and 8 in the CACC. And the Eagles have lost the last three matchups versus the Cougars. As Parsons to trigger. Evans wants to clear out. Swings it to Parsons. 
Bueno, back door, Evans kicks it out. Williams, three, book it. Actually, they say it was a long two. Foot on the line there by Williams. 12-6 lead here for the Cougars to start. Diang puts it on the deck. Tries to take it inside. Bueno, the theft. One man to beat. It's Williams. Lay off the mark. And Warnock with his first rebound of the game. Uh, caught swiftly into the front court. It's Williams, the freshman guard from Brockton, Massachusetts. Now it goes to Trey Duncan from Meriden, Connecticut. Whips it out. Diang. DA needs a friend, he has Warnock. No hesitation on the three, knock it down, Harry. Yes, sir, from the outside. Again, had 17 points on Saturday. Knocked down three from the outside to bring the Eagles back within that one. They ended up winning by seven, and Mark Heber with the answer on the other end. Heber is 21 for 66 from three-point range coming into this one. Duncan has it, the sophomore guard. Kick out to Warnock. Six minutes gone here in the first half. Lacant uses the screen. Duncan. Harry, back to back. You bet! Harry Warnock. Boom from the outside. Give him six. Bueno across the lane. The scoop, no. Evans tip, also no. Duncan the rebound. Akat splits everyone and gets whacked. We get that foul on the floor. As Derek Thomas the second coming in here for the Eagles. And Musa Nagome and Isaiah Filbert into the game now for the first time for Caldwell. Williams to trigger under the basket. Looking for a man, he's got a cot. 13 and a half to play here in the first half. Just getting underway here at the Jugner Center. So glad you are with us here on the CACC Network on this Wednesday evening on a chilly night here in the middle of January. Cot. Thomas into the hands of Evans ahead of the field and he lays it in. Defense, offense for the Cougars. Back up by five. There's seven minutes gone here in the first half. Mark Koontz not happy on the sidelines. Sends Harris and Diang back to the scores table. Akat slips and lost it out of bounds. Akat saying, where is the foul? Melvin Evans into the game now for Caldwell. Nagome. Isaiah Filbert. The dribble handoff with Evans. He pulls it back, hesitates, fires, and connects. Darnell Evans. So lethal on the offensive end. You can see why he averages 23 and a half on the year. DA, short corner, jabs. Goes across the lane, sprays it out. Williams, his first shot of the game is off the heel. And it's rebounded by Caldwell out to Evans. Across the lane, adjusts, couldn't finish. It's into the hands of Evans. Back out of three, Heber gets the friendly roll. The fortuitous bounce, and it drops in for Heber's second made three-pointer of the game. And a double-digit lead here for the Cougars to start. Up top to Williams, missed his last one, and can't connect on this one. Now Evans, ahead, pass inside, nearly broken up by Diang, ball on the ground, and Williams has it. Haber with the theft. Evans cross court, Filbert knocks down his first three-pointer of the game. Isaiah Filbert leads the CACC in three-point percentage at 
He is 19 for 36 from downtown coming into this one. And that forces Mark Kutz to call his first timeout. Quick start here for the Cougars up by 13, 25-12. You're watching Division II men's basketball. And it's on the CACC Network. out of the timeout. 11-11 to play here in the first half. Coming out onto the floor here for the Eagles. It is Harris, Diang, Sanders, Warnock, and Williams. For Caldwell, both Evans, Darnell, and Melvin, along with Heber, Nagome, and Philbert. Harris at the controls. Warnock, the handoff here with Sanders. Fires from three and knocks it down. Big shot robbed from the outside. Knocks down his first made three-pointer of the game. Evans, Filbert. Fires another three. This one off right. Long rebound. It's to D.A. Coming up on the midway point here in the first half. Harris, drive, pass inside to Williams. Back out to Dang. And they'll reset it. Harris, the strong drive, easy finish for Quest. Kiss it off the window for number four. Evans, quick drive and the scoop, and he got whacked going up with the layup. Darnell Evans to the foul line to shoot a pair. Evans only a sophomore from Deer Park, New York. Stands at six feet. on the first of two. Lakot and Alsi back in. Warnock and Williams will sub out. Evans buries both free throws from the line. 27-17 lead here for the Cougars. Coming up on the midway point here in the first half. Cot has to go back door to Harris and he is fouled on the pass. Sanders, Sanders inside, floats it up, couldn't float it in. And we get an offensive foul called on D.A., the push in the back. Thomas to check back in. D.A. will sub out. D.A. just picked up his second personal foul. Court feed to Filbert, who's one for two from downtown. Filbert couldn't hold on to the pass. Thomas with the seal inside to a cot who scoops it in. Defense, offense for your Eagles. Back within single digits. You know, this is an Eagles squad that you have to play all 40 minutes against as. That's a nice looking J by Kirk Parsons. The step back foul line jumper is pure. Yeah, this is an Eagles team that you have to play the whole game against. Can't take your foot off the gas. They can come at you in waves at any point. A cot slithering into lane. Sanders to Alsi on the roll. The adjustment with the right hand. Couldn't get the lay to fall, and Evans with the rebound. 
Here's Melvin Evans. Takes it in on a cock. Has that layup swatted by Elsie. Kyle says, did you think it was sweet? Massive rejection from Alsi, and he'll sub out here. Warnock will sub in with 8.48 to play in the opening half. 29-19. Caldwell leads it. Caldwell 11 for 21 from the floor. It's over to Filbert. Ball knocked around. Parsons flips it up. Couldn't flip it in. Harris the rebound. And throws it ahead to a cot. He sets for three. Bull knocks it down. The cot doesn't make doesn't take too many three-pointers. Nine for 19 from downtown coming into this one. Knocks down his first of the game, but you don't want to leave him open. That's Isaiah Filbert getting the friendly bounce, the fortuitous bounce. Again, 53% from downtown. Isaiah Filbert shoots it, leads the CACC in three-point percentage. 12 minutes gone here in the first half. A cock gets to his spot, elevates. Can't stick the landing on the J. Evans to Evans. Evans all the way inside. Offensive interference there by Melvin. Grabbed onto the rim. As Bueno and Heber will check back in for Caldwell. Both teams 50% from the floor. Caldwell 12 for 24. Post 9 for 18. Arnell Evans leading all scorers with 9. Harry Warnock leads it for the Eagles with six. The post entry feed to number 11. Back out Harris. The nice drive leads a friend. He's got a cot. Nine on the shot clock for the Eagles to work with. The post entry pass to Warnock. He stumbles and it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Bueno. Five on the shot clock for the Eagles off the side out. Ken Griffin Castle on hand. So glad you could tune in here on the CACC Network on this chilly night on a Wednesday in the middle of January. The cot, hard drive off the window to beat the buzzer. The cot's got seven. Now leading in the scoring column for the Eagles is the junior from Manchester, New Hampshire, Bola Cot. 13 minutes gone here in the first half. 32-24 lead. Bueno the spin and the scoop and the foul. the line on the game. Rattles in and out on the first of two. Bueno 57 for 79 from the foul line on the year coming into tonight. The 6'7 junior. Empty trip. Under seven to play here in the first half. Eagles trailing by eight. Williams, Thomas, Akat, Warnock, and Sanders. The five on the floor for Mark Kuntz. Get it to a cot. He turns the corner, goes inside. And a foul called, a late whistle. As he got an incredulous Dean Johnson on the sidelines. Can't believe the call. It's going to be a cot at the line to shoot a pair. First trip to the foul line on the game for Bowl. Shoots it at a 76% clip from the foul line. 74 for 97 coming into this one. And they're going back in. Bueno will sub out. Bueno just picked up his second personal foul. So he's forced to check out here. Moose in the gome, the sophomore. Stands at six foot eight. The backup big here for the Cougars. Has a cop all cords on each free throw. Eagles within six, two possession game. Coming up on six and a half to play here in the first half. It is Nagom at the top of the key. Heber looking for Nagom, can't get it to him. Now Melvin Evans 
here on the wing. Looking to work on Thomas. Goes inside and is fouled by Thomas. Thomas perplexed at the call and it'll be Melvin Evans shooting two at the line here. Looking for his first buckets of the game. His first trip to the line. Evans 19 for 32 from the foul line on the year. Not the best free throw shooter. Evans off left on the first of two as the sophomore will check in here. Trey Duncan in for Thomas. Thomas just picked up his second personal foul. So he'll sub out four minutes. Played for Derek Thomas the second. And the basketball gods drop that one in for Melvin Evans as Jaden Williams checks in here for Melvin on the Caldwell side. 6.21 to play here in the first half, seven point lead for the Cougars. Williams, Sanders, Warnock, Akat, and Duncan, the five on the floor here for Mark Hoots. Triple handoff here with Akat. He elevates the midi, he sticks the landing. Exquisite job there by Akat getting to his spot. It's inside to Nagome and a quick bucket there by Caldwell. Mark Coots is furious on the Eagles sideline. Poor transition defense there by the Eagles. Akat makes everyone miss. Back out to big shot, Rob. Kaboom from the outside. And that forces Dean Johnson to call a timeout. Sanders, two for two from downtown. And it's Eagles within four. 35-31 with 5.36 to play in the first half. You are watching Division II men's basketball here on the CACC Network. Back out of the timeout, Sanders, Williams, Diang, Warnock, and Duncan, the five on the floor here. But no, we will take another timeout here. We'll be back here on the CACC Network. Back out of the break. The officials just, just getting the team fouls all sorted out. So 5.36 to play in the first half. It's thrown ahead to Parsons. 
He settles it down here on the left wing. Parsons, Nagome, Williams, Evans, and Heber, the five on the floor here for the Cougars. Warnock, Williams, Sanders, Akant, and Duncan, five on the floor for the Eagles. Back door, Parsons leans in off the window, and the whistle. So it'll be Parsons going to the foul line. His first trip of the game. Twenty-seven for thirty-five from the line on the year for Parsons. Connects on the first of two. Parsons, a sophomore from Newark, New Jersey, stands at six feet. And Evans will sub out Kirk here with 5.17 to play in the first half. 37-31 lead for Caldwell. Both teams shooting exceptional from the floor. Post 12 for 23, Caldwell 13 for 26. As it's Warnock at the top. Tries to rip through there. Sanders tries to get it to Harry on the roll. Ball tapped out of bounds, last touch by Caldwell as Alsey and Harris will check in here for Cott and Warnock on the Eagles side. Under the basket out of bounds here with 5.02 to play in the first half. Harris, Williams, across the lane, kick out. Quest didn't want the three. Now Duncan on the drive, and he draws the whistle. These will be Duncan's first free throws of the season. Has never had a trip to the line in the 11 games that he's played in, coming into this one. Averages 13.3 minutes per game. And his first free throw of the season is off the heel. Duncan, the 6'2 sophomore from Meriden, Connecticut. Drills the back end of two. Eagles within five. Thrown ahead to Evans. Darnell has nine points here in this one. Three for eight from the floor. Williams, kick out. It's a Parsons three off the back iron, and it's Duncan climbing the ladder for the board. Four and a half to play here in the first half. Harris battling with Parsons, goes right into the thicket of the defense. Yes, and a foul. West Harris taking out his do-it-yourself kit. And he brings the Eagles within one possession. Harris with six points in 11 minutes. He is a perfect three for three from the floor. But he is 0 for three from the foul line as he misses that one. As Evans throws it off of Williams there. 4.25 to play here in the first half. It's Williams, Sanders, Harris, Duncan, Alsey, five on the floor here for the Eagles. Met by Harris in the backcourt, crosses the timeline. Dribble handoff. Multiple dribble handoffs. Evan splits the defense all the way inside the jelly. Couldn't finish. And it's Harris with the board and the push. Kick out. Duncan sets for three in the right corner. Too strong. And it's Melvin Evans soaring for the rebound. Heber pulls it back for three and left the J short. Nagome with the offensive rebound, but they call him for an offensive foul. Boxing out there. 3.49 to play here in the first half. Eagles will take over with the Cot checking back into the game. He'll sub out the sophomore here. As Team Johnson screens from the sidelines, says that everyone is pushing. So Eagles in the bonus here. It'll be Sanders at the line 
to shoot a one and one. Sanders 12 for 17 from the foul line on the year. Earns himself another free throw. Rob Sanders, a Connecticut native from Naugatuck. A 6'3 junior, in and out on the second. Two point game, 37-35, Cougars. Magone, Parsons. Pass deflected and intercepted by Sanders. Eagles looking to turn some defense into offense here. Akant gets the screen. Goes back door for Williams, but it was telegraphed by Evans. Inside, Nagom blocked, but a foul. As they will get Harris for the whistle with 3.15 to play here in the first half. It'll be Nagom heading to the foul line for his first free throws of the contest. Nagom, 5 for 12 from the line on the year. Warnock and Duncan getting set to check back in. Harrison also will sub out. <laughs> Get a foul on the floor there, called on Melvin Evans with the push. Warnock draws a foul. 3.14 to play here in the first half. Eagles trailing by three. It's Williams, Sanders, Akat, Warnock, and Duncan, the five on the floor here for Mark Hoots. Williams goes to the screen, and the jump shot is off. And they're going with the rebound, and Parsons will push. Parsons. Evans. Guarded by Akat. Looks to isolate, one, two, the step through and the bucket. Nice take, Melvin Evans. Says he can't guard me. And Akant will try him here on the other end. Akant, kick out, Duncan shuffled his feet. First time we are going to see Cape Holden into the game. He's only appeared in eight games, averaging 6.3 minutes per game. He's a shooter, and Mark Koontz looking for some shooting, bringing in the five foot ten guard. He's a junior, a Connecticut native from Trumbull. Is Cape? Guarding Philbert here. Triple handoff. 220 to play in the first half. Evans feeds it to Philbert. Heber got a cut up in the air and sticks a jump shot. Wanted the foul as well. And Caldwell back up to a seven point lead. Under two to play here in the first half. Warnock, right at Nagom, had it stripped, regains it. Hands it off to Williams, who has it poked from behind by Evans. 1.43 to play here in the first half under the basket out of bounds for the Eagles. It'll be Williams to trigger on the left baseline. Both teams shoot it really well from downtown. Here's a caught short corner jump shot, left it short. Rebound tipped out of play by Sanders. Yeah, Caldwell 6 for 10 from downtown, Post 5 for 9. Both teams really struggling from the foul line. Post 4 for 9, and Caldwell 6 for 10. Caldwell shooting as well as they are from the foul line, as they are from the three-point line. It is Heber, some jelly, no. A cut, rebound, and pass ahead to Williams. Oh, nice move to Quan. Had everything but the finish there. 
Evans throws it ahead. Heber steps back, launches for three, and missed everything. Silver right there for the offensive rebound, and there's a lid on the basket for the Cougars right there. They're caught with the rebound, and he will slow it down. Coming up on a minute to play here in the first half. Sanders catch, shoot, three. And they say that went above the backboard, out of bounds. Sanders misses his first three-pointer of the game. Now two for three for one of the best three-point shooters in the CACC. All see back in, Warnoff will sub out. Fifty-nine point four remaining here in the first half. Filbert down the right side of the lane. Nagom has the rebound. Baby hook with the right hand, and he is fouled by Alsi. Alsi. Picks up his first personal foul and can't believe the call. So Nagome back to the foul line where he is one for two on the game. points, three rebounds. He's got a block. And the backup big here for this Caldwell squad. Plays right behind Derek Bueno. Legome is calm, cool, and collected as he was getting chirped by the fans there on those free throws. A nine-point lead for Caldwell. 40 seconds to play here in the first half. Akant uses the Alsi screen, gets it to him off the pocket pass, and he's whack going up with the layup. So here's the first free throws of the game for Alsi. to this one, he is 17 for 25 from the line on the year. Holden is out, Duncan is in. And on the Caldwell side, Nagom is out and Bueno is back in. Bueno has two personal fouls, so something to keep an eye out for if you are a Cougars fan, as also he connects on the back end of two. Brings the Eagles with an eight. Three second difference, shot clock to game clock. Heber, watched by a cop, now Evans comes to get it. the handoff. Evans looks to make his move. Draws the foul. I believe they're going to say that one was on the floor. No continuation like it would be for the NBA. But the Cougars are the bonus. And for the first time we're going to see Landon Shivers into the game. The sophomore stands at six foot nine. The third string big for Dean Johnson. Shivers only averaging 5.3 minutes per game in 10 games appeared in. Warnock back, back in, Alsi subs out. Alsi now with two personal fouls, so the Eagles in a little bit of foul trouble here as Evans drills the first on the one and one. Yeah, you got Alsi with two personal fouls, Deng Dieng with two fouls, Harris with two fouls, and Derek Thomas the second with two fouls. That one's too strong. Evans has the offensive rebound. Back out to Heber. Shot clock is dark. Game clock at five. Four. Evans at the top of the key. Looking to get a bucket here. It's off the window. And it's too strong. And that takes us to the end of the first half. It's the Cougars 45. The Eagles 36. Heading into halftime. You are watching Division II men's basketball on the CACC Network.
champions know how to seize opportunities. When they see moments of greatness unfold right before their eyes, they push as hard as they possibly can. And then they push harder. Because the heart of a champion never settles, never quits, and never stops giving its all. We are champions. We are Division II. We go big, we give it everything we've got, and we win. On the field, on our campuses, in our communities, for our causes, in our careers. We rise to become champions in everything we do. We are Division II, and there are no limits here. We make our time count. We set our own path. We become champions on our terms. It's time to up your game, because we're here to play and learn. But most importantly, we're here to discover ourselves, our vision, our heart, our drive, to achieve every goal we aim for, because we want to be champions at the highest level, life. At Division II, the opportunities are here. Are you ready? In NCAA Division II, student-athletes leave a lasting impression on their communities. That's because Division II student-athletes want to make a difference and truly be part of their surrounding communities. Through community engagement, thousands of student-athletes from various backgrounds interact with community members who view them as role models. This interaction leaves a positive and perhaps even life-changing impression on all those involved. In Division II, we rise to the opportunity and make community engagement ours.
All right, we are done with halftime, getting set for the second half here between the Eagles and the Cougars. It's 45 36 Caldwell coming out of the break here. Darnell Evans leading the way for the Cougars with 10 points. Oh, the only Cougar in double figures. And for the Eagles, it is Bolacott, the only Eagle in double figures with 11. So coming out of the break here, Eagles looking for some juice here in this second half. Now they played well, just Caldwell played a little bit better. And look at the team, team stats here. Post shooting better from the floor at 43%. Caldwell at 42%. Both teams shooting the lights out of the three ball. Six for 11 from Caldwell. Five for 10 from Post. And the largest lead of the game for the Cougars was when it was 25-12. But the big discrepancy is in the turnover ratio. Eagles with nine turnovers. Caldwell with two turnovers. Again, this is the 42nd all-time matchup between the Cougars and the Eagles. Last matchup was on February 14th, 2023, where Caldwell won in a nail-biter, 64-59. Eagles 23-18 and all-time. They have dropped the last three matchups versus the Cougars. To start for the Eagles, it is their starting five of Sanders, Harris, Akat, Alsi, and Diang. And for Caldwell, Darnell Evans, Parsons, Williams, Bueno, and Heber. Five on the four here for Dean Johnson in his second year with Caldwell. Mark Coots on the Eagles side in his seventh year at the helm here at post. Second half is underway. It's Bueno inside. Shovels it. A three from Heber is right between the eyes. Mark Heber now to double figures. Give him 11. Leading all scores for Caldwell now. It's three for five from downtown. It's the junior. Caught inside to Alsi. Gets it back here on the wing. Caldwell in his own defense here. The bounce for Sanders. Oh my goodness, he tried to catch a body. Dang the rebound. Back to Rob. Sanders, the mid-range pull-up is short. And it's Williams with the rebound. Minute gone here in the second half. 12-point lead for Caldwell. Their largest lead, again, was at 13 as Heber couldn't get the layup to go. It caroons back out to Bueno. He drives and is fouled by Elsie on the floor. Elsie and Diang alluding to the fact that they thought that Bueno hooked Elsie out of the way there. So it'll be an under-the-basket out-of-bounds here for Caldwell as Warnock will sub in. Elsie will sub out. Elsie just picked up his third personal foul. And a good amount of the Eagles in foul trouble here. Alsi with three, Diang with two, Harris with two, and Derek Thomas the second also with two personal fouls. 18.45 to play here in regulation. Post entry feed for Bueno inside going right at Warnock. Couldn't finish. Follows his miss. Off the window, off the mark. Rebound tapped by Akat to Diang. Akat will slow it down. The kick out to Sanders, his three is off the mark. Rebound tapped out of play there by Bueno. Eagles coming to this one at 12 and two overall, three and zero in conference play. According to College Basketball Nation, the Eagles are the 16th best team in the entire nation in all of Division II basketball. Harris to trigger, gets it into Diang in the mid post. Diang going right at Williams. Couldn't finish on the long rebound, tracked down by Heber, ahead to Bueno. Oh, wow, what a rejection by Sanders. Get that weak stuff out of here, says Rob. That block looked a little personal right there. Sanders sending it out of play with authority. Under the basket, out of bounds here for the Cougars. Parsons to trigger, gets it into number 13, Williams, who hands it off to Darnell Evans, who leads the CACC in points per game at 23.5. He's got 10 here in this one. The midi left it short. Rebound by Bueno, but he pushed off of Diang. And that will be Bueno's third personal foul.
They would bring in Nagone, but he has two personal fouls, so Dean Johnson is going to elect to keep Bueno in the game. It's inside to Warnock. He gets Bueno out of the way, who didn't want to pick up that fourth personal foul. Excellent recognition there by Warnock, understanding how many fouls his defender has. Knew that he wasn't going to be too aggressive there and took it right to him. Pass deflected out of bounds there by Akat. Ten point game. As the official will meet at the scores table, Mark Coon slapping the ball. Not happy about something. So sign out here for Caldwell. Parsons to trigger. Looking for a man. He wants to get it to Evans. Nearly a five second violation there. Just got it in in time. Kirk Parsons met by Rob Sanders. Post entry feed for Bueno. 14th of the CACC in points per game. Feed inside to Williams. And he coughed it up. Side back to Diang. Nice setup by Harris. And Diang finishes the deuce. The Eagles back within single digits. A little over three minutes gone here in the second half. Evans met by the former Sacred Heart pioneer, Quest Harris. Evans almost costs it up. Swings it. Parsons doesn't want the three. Drives it inside. The float game is off. And it's Diang snatching the rebound out of thin air. Now Harris all the way inside. Blocked by Evans. Rebounded by Parsons. He stops, he pops, and he connects on the midi. Back to a 10 point game. It's Diang at the top of the key. Sanders. To Diang on the roll. Ball is stolen by Williams, and here comes Caldwell looking to turn some defense into offense. Williams, way off on the J. Harris the rebound. Now ahead to Rob. Throw it down. Sanders up high, down hard. Eagles back within eight. Heber pulls it for three, Ooh, right in the face of a cot. He sticks the landing on the J. Mark Heber, four made three pointers here in this one. He's four for six from beyond the arc. Sanders uses the Diang screen, back to him. Diang, midi, pure. What pace here to start this second half. Five minutes gone. Bueno on the drive and drew the foul on Warnock. So Derek Bueno to the free throw line to shoot two. He was 0 for 2 in his lone trip. As you see, Derek Thomas the second, Trey Duncan and Taquan Williams all getting set to check back in for the Eagles at the score table. Melvin Evans at the score table for Caldwell. Bueno. Drills the first of two. Bueno ranks number 14th in the CACC in points per game at 14.3 and third in the conference in rebounds per game at 8.4. A stellar campaign here from the junior. And at six foot seven, 230 pounds. Two for four from the foul line now. Back to a double digit lead for the Cougars. So plenty of time for the Eagles. The pass to Warnock, the drive, the kick, the Sanders three is up and through. Rob Sanders, yes sir, from the outside. Big shot, Rob having a nice shooting game. He's three for five from beyond the arc. It is Parsons trying to answer and does. Nylon from three. 
Back and forth we go. Warnock puts it on the deck. Evans got his fifth rebound, the in and out dribble. Nice move, the lay on the floor. Bucket doesn't count. No continuation. This is not the National Basketball Association. So D ain't back in, he'll sub out Warnock. 14.08 to play here in the second half in the 42nd all-time matchup between the Eagles and the Cougars. Eagles 23 and 18 all time. It's into Evans. Trouble with the handle there. The intensity really picking up here in the Drumner Center on this Wednesday night in the middle of January. It's into Bueno. Baby hook, yes, off the window, plus a foul. Derek Bueno back to the foul line. As a cop coming back in for the Eagles, Isaiah Filbert, who leads the CACC in three point percentage, shooting 53% from downtown, subs out Heber. Another issue with the game clock, it, appear, it appears. Completes the three-point play. Bueno will sub out. Nagom will sub in. 14-point lead here for Caldwell. It's their largest lead of the game at 14. Thomas, the foul line pull-up is short. And it's Evans snatching it out of thin air, throws it out to Filbert, who's ahead of the field, and he lays it in. Diang <laughs> looking to create. Baby Hook with the right hand falls. Diang taking out his do-it-yourself kick. Melvin Evans lost it, out of bounds. Nice defense there by Derek Thomas. As it'll be Harris coming back in. He'll sub out the sophomore from Meriden, Connecticut, Trey Duncan. 12.52 to play here in regulation. Eagles down by 14. Williams, Dia. Dribble handoff with a cot. A cot elevates. And the Gome clears the rebound. 12 and a half to play in regulation. Darnell Evans, quick drive, leaves it for his, another Evans, and he is fouled as Melvin with 12.27 to play here in regulation. The sophomore from Bronx, New York, wearing number two in red, going to shoot a pair here. Heber back in, Parsons out. We're not coming in for Thomas. Pack crowd on hand here at the Drubner Center. Off the heel on the second of two by Evans. Harris, Diang, Warnock, Williams, and the Cot, the five on the floor here. It's over to Williams. His three. Too strong. Warnock. Rebound and tap pass out to a Cot. 
Gets it to Harris. And Dean Johnson is irate. At the score saver. And, and the fans here want Dean Johnson to get teed up. As the official conveying to Dean that this is my job to take care of the score table, not yours. <laughs> the official sharing a good laugh about it. So 12.06 to play here in regulation. Shot clock at 14. Harris will trigger it into Warnock. Gets it right back. Sprays it out. Williams, and that's off right. Diang flying in for the rebound, but he was stepping on the baseline. So with exactly 12 to play here in regulation, Caldwell will take over up by 15. Nice scoop, Melvin Evans to the rack, and he has something to say to the crowd, and he gets teed up. And the officials love, or excuse me, the fans love it. The officials don't love it. <laughs> so Melvin Evans with a technical foul. Williams will shoot the technical here. The Eagles trailing by 17. This crowd here at the Drubner Center is alive and well. Williams rattles in the technical. They'll shoot one more, and the Eagles will get the ball. The official telling Melvin Evans to just play. Don't worry about the crowd. One more at the line. Knocks down both technicals. And that comes back to bite Caldwell. That could be a huge mistake by Melvin Evans. As of right now, it's not appearing to hurt them. But that's because they are up by 15. So glad you're with us here on the CACC Network on this Wednesday evening at the Drumner Center. Williams, kick out, Warnock, Diang. Harris, Williams, the step back three, kaboom! A five point swing, Eagles back within 12. fouled on the drive. This crowd here at the Dunker Center is feeling themselves to say the least. So much fun here in Waterbury, Connecticut. And the fans know what's at stake here. With these two teams in the North Division in the CACC. Not only bragging rights on the line, but complications with the standings on the line here. And the Eagles, the number one seed in the North Division at 3-0 in conference. Caldwell, the number three seed at 2-2 two two in conference. Filbert and Melvin Evans check out. Five on the floor here for Caldwell. It is Darnell Evans, Heber, Williams, Parsons, and Nagone. A cot to bring the Eagles within 10. Sanders will sub out bold.
Bieber takes it right into the corner. Dangerous decision. And it costs them a turnover. All young basketball players are taught at a young age to never take it to the corner like that because it's an easy trap. And the crowd here at the Drumner Center is alive and well. We'll step aside and take a breather here with 10.45 to play in regulation. It's 66-56 Caldwell. We hope you can take a deep breath during that timeout. A very intense game here at the Drummer Center. Packed house. Not an open spot in the bleachers. Williams, Diang, Warnock, Harris, and Sanders, the five on the floor for the Eagles. Warnock. Looking for Williams, he got, gets it to him off the dribble, hand off his three. And the crowd would have erupted here if that one went down. Coming up on the midway point here in the second half, a 10 point lead for the Cougars. The Eagles have not led here in this one. The step back J from Evans, he missed everything. Harris on the breakaway, yes! And one! And Mark Kuntz is loving it on the sidelines. Williams, Warnock, check out. Akant and Alsi check in. There's not a better spot to be here in the state of Connecticut than the Drubner Center right now. Harris, three-point play is completed. And the Eagles all of a sudden within seven. And the crowd is alive. The momentum with the Eagles. Heber, Bueno, Williams. Parsons and Darnell Evans, the five on the squad here for Dean Johnson. Parsons, the scoop and the score silences the crowd with the end one. Park Parsons tonight has been outstanding. Parsons into double figures now. In 24 minutes played, he's three for seven from the floor. And so he misses the free throw, excuse me. Four for eight from the floor is Parsons, he's got 11. But can't complete the three point play. Under 10 to play, here in regulation. It's Harris feeding it for Diang in the post. Going to work, pulls it back and misses the J. Nine point lead for the Cougars. Evans looking to bring it back up to double digits. Excellent defense there by Harris. Sanders inside, the scoop and the score. Bueno ahead, Darnell Evans. And one. Foul goes on Harris. 
Darnell Evans is electric. Again, the leader in the CACC in points per game at 23.5. Only a sophomore. Gets his first bucket of the second half. He's been fairly quiet tonight, I mean, for his expectations. Four for 14 from the floor with 12 points. The Eagles have done a great job containing him. But it's the others that have gotten involved. Mark Heber with 14, Kurt Parsons with 11, Derek Bueno with 12. It's been a balanced attack here by the Cougars all night long. 8.59 to play in regulation. Evans connects on the free throw to put the Cougars back up by double digits. Melvin Evans back in, a fan favorite here at the Drudner Center. He'll sub out Heber. Williams, Diang, Warnock, Sanders, and Akat. That's a five on the floor for Marcoutz. Diang. Akat costs it up. Evans with the theft. Evans looking to work. Lost it out of bounds to the delight of the crowd. running the point. Diang, the fade, got the roll. Shooters touch for Dang Diang. Back to an eight point game with eight to play in regulation. Evans to Parsons. So it's a defense coming from the Eagles bench. And now the crowd gets involved. Foul. It'll go against the Eagles. They get Warnock for the whistle. His second personal foul with 7.41 to play here in regulation. It'll be Darnell Evans at the line. Four for five from the foul line on the game. Evans comes into this one as a 71% free throw shooter, 74 for 105 on the year. For such a great player, he doesn't shoot it too well at the foul line. It is pure in that trip. Back to a 10 point game. 7.35 remaining in regulation. Dribble handoff, Williams thought about the three. Whoops the pass to Diang. Diang wants a clear out. Looking to go to work. Leading the Eagles in scoring at 17 points per game. Back up top to his partner in crime, Akat. The scoop. Diang fighting for the rebound and Evans hauls it in. Williams and the weak side rebound by Sanders. To Quan Williams on the pull up. It doesn't fall. And it's Bueno, who is third in the CACC in rebounds per game, hauls that one in. His fourth rebound of the game. Six and a half to play in regulation. Ten point game. Still plenty of time left in this one. Evans, watched by a cop, gets it to Darnell Evans. And now it's in the post for Bueno. Doesn't get the roll, but Darnell Evans at six feet tall, crashing the offensive glass for the second chance opportunity. 
give him 15. Now the leading scorer on the game for the Cougars. Warnock, the rip through, and he is fouled by Bueno. And that is Derek Bueno's fourth personal foul. He's alluding to the bench to say, no, keep me in. And it looks like Dean Johnson is going to adhere to him. No, no, he's not. I, sp I spoke too soon. The go coming back in. Yeah, I mean, Bueno just can't stay in right now with four personal fouls. You got to come out for a few minutes. It'll be Sanders inbound here on the sideline. Parsons will guard the inbound. 12 point lead for the Cougars. It is a cot kicking out, and Thomas slipped up there. And that wet spot is going to need to get cleaned up there as Derek Thomas took a spill. It's Eagles ball. I don't know why they're retreating back to go on defense. And the officials are going to call a timeout here to get that wet spot figured out. So we'll step aside here for a quick moment with 544 to play in regulation. They're just getting the wet spots all figured out. And we will resume play with 5.44 to play in the regulation. It is going to be the Cougars ball. Evans is trapped and he calls for time. Good trap there by the Eagles. We'll step aside here with 540 to play in regulation. You are watching Division II men's basketball, and it's on the CACC network. Back out of the timeout. Both Evans on the floor for Caldwell, along with Parsons, Williams, and Nagone. Akat, Sanders, Thomas, 
Alsi and Duncan, the five on the floor for Mark Coons. Five and a half to play here in regulation. A 12 point lead for the Cougars. Darnell looking to go to work. Nice defense there by Duncan. And it's Williams taking it inside. He lost the handle, but he got fouled. Warnock, Diang, Harris all getting set to check back in for the Eagles. Jaden Williams at the line. The freshman guard from New York, New York. A big city kid. All cords on the first of two. Duncan, Thomas, Alsi, check out. As a team, Caldwell is 16, no, pardon me, 17 for 24 from the line. Williams. Two for two in that trip to the line. Back to a 14 point lead. Largest lead of the game was at 17 for the Cougars and Sanders can't connect on that one. So plenty of time left in this one. Eagles show that full court press. And a theme from this Eagles squad Talking with them all season long in post-game interviews is how this team just wants to win. They don't care about anything else but picking up the W. Individual accolades and statistics don't matter to them. It's all about the win. Evans, the step back, Jay. Long rebound out to Melvin Evans. 4.45 to play in regulation. Eagles will do anything for the win. These next four and a half minutes will say a lot about this squad. Trailing by 14, facing adversity all game long. They haven't led once. Evans takes Diang on the drive and scoops it in with the left hand. Sanders. Pulls it back and cut next. We'll get a timeout on the floor. Eagles back within 14 with 4.06 to play in regulation. Coming out of the timeout, 4.06 to play here in the second half. 79-65 lead for Caldwell. Largest lead of the game for the Cougars was at 17 when they were leading 66-49. A lot of turnovers here for the Eagles. 12 turnovers for the Cougars, five. As they get into Parsons, Williams gets it right back. Nearly tipped there by Sanders. Evans. Stepped on the sideline, turnover, the sixth of the game for the Cougars. And the Eagles will take over. Still time left, but they need scores and stops the rest of the way. They're going back in, Bueno will sub out. Diang, Harris, Warnock, Akat, and Sanders, the five on the floor for the Eagles. Inside, 
Shot is blocked by Nagome, regained by Warnock, and he is fouled on the floor. Eagles are not in the bonus, so it'll be an under the basket out of bounds here with the shot clock resetting to 20. Rob Sanders has been the guy offensively for the Eagles. Three for six from downtown. He's got 16 points. Might be someone you want to go to here down the stretch. It's into Diang, who's fourth in the CACC in points per game. On the drive, pulls it back and connects. Cougars break the press. Three and a half to play in regulation. Can't trade buckets with this Cougar squad. You need stops on this end of the floor. Williams might have shuffled his feet there. The officials didn't see it. Darnell Evans with seven on the shot clock. Quick burst, lost it. Sanders picks it up. No numbers for the Eagles. Brings it back out to the perimeter. Rob Sanders just always makes the right play. Here is a cot. Bounces it for Warnock. He takes it inside. Wild shot. Couldn't draw the foul. Mark Kuntz looking for the foul, and Nagome is shaken up in the backcourt. Looks like he might have taken a shot there. Under three to play in regulation. Cougars by 12. As we get a foul away from the ball, it will go against the cot. And it is Evans drawing the foul, and with the Cougars in the bonus, it'll be Darnell Evans heading back to the foul line, where he is six for seven on the game. with 17 points in this one, make it 18 as he knocks down the first of two. Cougars in the double bonus, so it's not a one and one here. Warnock subs out, Thomas subs in. Back to a 14 point lead, Harris, Diang. Hands it off to Bull. He steps back, he fires. Now Evans, ahead of the field, goes all the way inside. And poor transition defense has been a theme for the Eagles all evening long. As Evans puts the lead back up to 14, and this is a problem for the Eagles, just not able to get stops on the offensive end. That's a nice bucket by Akat, and a quick timeout called by Mark Kuntz. Visibly frustrated. 2.12 to play here in regulation. Still some time for the Eagles. They need a miracle. 83-71 with 2.12 to play here in the second half. All right, we're out of the Mark Kuntz timeout. 2.12 to play here in regulation. It's an 83-71 lead for the Cougars. Darnell Evans nearly at his point total for the season. He's at 21, averages 23.5 per game on the year. Eagles show the full court press. That's knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Heber. And this is... What could cost the Cougars turnovers down the stretch? Evans, Melvin Evans that is, and Nagome check back in. It's Harris, 
Thomas, Diang, Akat, Sanders. Five on the floor for Marcoots. Need a quick bucket here. It's Akat bouncing it. Diang gets fouled on the floor. Equals not in the bonus. But now they are. My apologies. So it'll be a one and one here for Dang Diang. The 6'7 junior from St. Cloud, Minnesota has had a spectacular junior campaign for the Eagles. 17 points per game is his average. Averages 7.5 rebounds. An 81% free throw shooter on the year. Knocks down the first to earn him another. This is his first trip to the free throw line on the game. Eagles within 10, 2.04 to play. Williams throws it ahead to Parsons, and he swiftly breaks the press and settles it down at the front court left. Under two to play in regulation. Eagles need a miracle here at the Jumner Center. As Bueno is fouled on the floor, but Caldwell in the double bonus, so it'll be number 24 we're heading to the foul line to shoot a pair. So two for the line, falls for Bueno. And bueno now with 14 points, he'll sub out for Nagome with four personal fouls to make sure he doesn't pick one up on this end. 150 to play in regulation, Eagles down by 12. Yeah, they need a miracle to pull this one out. Dribble handoff here with Sanders. Spins into lane. Rob Sanders with a nifty move. The razzle dazzle for the deuce. Nagone needs to get into a man. It's Williams falling to the ground. And the call is that it's the Cougars ball. And they get a technical foul on Dang Diang right there. Diang has a lot of right to be mad there. I mean, it appeared that it was off of Caldwell to the naked eye. And the frustration's kind of piling over here for the Eagles. So Evans will shoot the technical free throws here. 127 to play in regulation. The official saw that. The second technical foul for the Cougars. And Akat will shoot the two at the line. the Cougars it's probably not going to cost you but you got to keep your composure a little bit more on the floor I mean technical fouls are so costly you can't just give the other team free points and the Eagles within nine here we'll get a timeout on the floor called by Dean Johnson 127 to play here in regulation. It's an 86-77 lead for the Cougars. You are watching Division II men's basketball, and it's on the CACC Network.
An eventful game to say the least it has been here at the Jubner Center between these two squads in the North Division in the CACC. Three technical fouls in total. Two on the Cougar side, one on the Eagles side. It was Dane Dean that picked up that technical for the Eagles. As Parsons breaks the press, pass inside to Bueno. And that is the exclamation point. Eagles down by 11 with not a lot of time left. Thomas, three. Off the heel. And Evans is fouled with 103 to play here in regulation. If you're just tuning in, the women's team, they won versus the Cougars 93-80 prior to this game. It looks like the men's are going to return the favor to the Eagles. The Eagles in danger of losing their first game in conference to a very, very good Cougars team. Perplexing that they are only six and seven overall. Not a bad in-conference record, two and two, and that is likely going to upgrade to three and two in one minute. They kick out to Rob. Can't connect on the three. Cot tries it and banks it in. A three. And now it's thrown ahead to Evans. He goes inside. He'll try a three. One second difference, or no, two second difference between shot clock and game clock. Caldwell can just hang on to it. They're going to pick up the win here and advance to 7-7 seven and seven overall, 3-2 and two in conference, and for the Eagles, they will drop to 12-3 and three overall, lose their first game in conference. Caldwell takes the shot clock violation. Eagles fall to 3-1 and one in conference, a huge win for Caldwell on the road. Next up for the Eagles, they will travel at Jefferson on Saturday to play in Philadelphia at 2 p.m. That's the time that tip-off is scheduled for, and for Caldwell, they are going to host Chestnut College at three o'clock on Saturday. Eagles will just inbound with 2.6 remaining on the clock. And that will do it. Harris fires it up at the horn. The Cougars win 92-79.